Let's go see how bad my painting room is. It's been a while since I've been here. <laughs> it's still set up from my Harbor Freight tool video. So here is part of the Exia. It's literally in pieces as I was trying to figure out where I last was when I started this project. But I literally left it in its original pink little case and everything. And I started it there. I spent a decent chunk of time on the feet for Exia, um, trying to get a really nice candied paint job. Now, when I was filming my Harbor Freight video here and trying to get the thumbnail for it, um, I was actually going to use these right here. I'm gonna show you exactly what happened. I was sitting here on this bench and I was making my thumbnail for that video and I was holding the pieces. They slipped out of my hand, hit the floor there, and uh, it caused this chip. I am somebody who, when it comes to doing art and things like that, of course you're gonna have a main guideline of what you wanna do. This was going to be a super clean, pretty build, like something wild and everything. But because of this mishap, um, it is now going to be either flawless with the imperfection. I'm not gonna fix, I'm not gonna fix it. Uh, I, I've decided I'm not gonna fix it. Matter of fact, I think just for the fact that I did it during the mobile suit mess, I might keep only that foot messed up as a reminder of better times, like of a good time. I feel like sometimes when you're working on an art project, instead of getting upset or crying in my case, uh, it's just better to accept the inevitable. It happened, there's nothing you can do about it. If you don't wanna fix it, there's something beautiful about it being a little bit broken. I'll show you right here. Do you see, honestly, they chipped pretty well. Oh God, look at my paint job. My, there's, there's thumbprints on it. This doesn't have a clear coat on it. This bad boy took so much time to do. It chipped right on the tip of the red. And because of the way that I actually did this kit, it turned out pretty good instead of the primer underneath. Instead, you're getting the metallic, which is something that I really wanna talk about in this painting series here. When it comes to doing kits like this, I think it's really important that you use that metallic or um, it's called chrome silver or aluminum silver from Tamiya. And in case say something like this does happen, it just looks like the paint job came off. And you wouldn't be able to do that uh, without hand painting or redoing the whole entire thing or just doing a whole bunch of things unless you had the undercoating of the metallic. And I think that is one of my biggest, best tips that I can give to people when they start painting because inevitably um, a paint job is gonna chip, it's gonna scratch, any number of things gonna happen, even if you put a clear coat on it, anything can happen. So you just wanna cover all your bases and you know what? These suits aren't gonna be in perfect condition all the time anyways, and the anime and anything like that, they're gonna be a little bit messed up. So, as you can see, it was pretty. <laughs> um, I'm going with an interesting color scheme. So at first it started out kind of just being the color scheme of the Exia, which, you know, that kind of goes with it right there. But I think I'm going to use some weird wacko colors on it. I think it's vitally important <laughs> to not get discouraged when something happens, something messes up, something out of your control. And you know what? Just roll with the punches, which trust me, is not an easy thing to do. I know it's not an easy thing to do. Sometimes I struggle with it, but when it comes to my art, I feel like my best stuff comes from a mess up. And that's one thing that I've learned on YouTube too and everything like that. You know what? Leave it in, we're doing it live. As you can tell, it was a really pretty candied paint job. I left the back a candied um, or a metallic silver. I left this metallic blue and then this is gunmetal for the framework, which we're gonna go into. But as you can see, like literally look, it, 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 it makes sense. It makes sense, like it would get chipped there. So really what I'm thinking about doing is honestly, just leaving them like that. Yes, that's gonna be the project that we're working on. Let me grab it right here for you guys. This is the 1100, just normal Gundam Exia, nothing too terribly crazy. I specifically chose one of the more entry grade MGs um, because again, like I told you in the other video, this was supposed to be a test kit and it was supposed to help new builders 
um, if they wanted to know how to paint or just basically where to start. It's an underwhelming kit, straight lines, um, nothing too terribly crazy, very straightforward. You have the frame in the inside, a couple of armor pieces, some really cool leg pieces so you can learn how to paint something with a lot of area on it, uh, really cool shoulder pieces and some cool weapons to also experiment on. That is why I chose the Exia because I believe that the Exia is probably one of the best test kits. Also right now, I believe he's like $32. He's not expensive. I know he's not expensive. He might've gone up now because now everyone's getting into Gundam and the price might've gone up, but I will try to find him for you and put the link down in the description, but he is a very good kit to test painting on. And I stand by that. There's the bad boys that got messed up. <laughs> I'm getting this really, really awesome lime green color. So as you can see, I wanna try the shoulder units right there, a lime green color. And then of course the feet, I altered this blue. And as you can see over here, I also have his shield, the metallic blue as well. We're doing a gun metal with a bit of smoke on it for the internal frame there. Um, and then these pieces right here are on the foot. Um, I think they're gonna go, I think they're gonna go this dark copper color. So we're talking dark copper, metallic blue with the green. And then I think I'm going to attempt to get more of that candied paint that I used on the feet there. I don't know, I wanted it to be a really contrasting kit. You can see some pieces here that I primed already. These are the other pieces for the shoulder joints. Here's another metallic. And then, oh, that's a part. This is a part of the head that I messed up. But what we're gonna be doing is this. Now, for these parts have been washed already and cleaned. Um, I'm gonna put the footage from my video where I did clean them in here, and I will make a better, more in depth, concise video about how to clean your parts. Get yourself Exia or a kit that you like. Does not have to be Exia. You can just choose a kit that you want. I just think Exia is a very good beginner kit for painting. Then you can build your kit or you can wash your parts on the runner. Very important. You want to wash your parts because you're getting the mold release off of the actual kit. And when you get the mold release off of the kit, then you are able to get a smooth, even paint job. I also have a priming video, which I need to remake as well because it's not so good. We're going to go over the priming as well. But today we're just showing you what I have and where we're going with this. We're going to be priming these pieces. So I'm going to show you how to wash them again. We're gonna prime the pieces, and then we're gonna start laying down some paint. Laying down some paint. If you don't know where to start, I do suggest that 1100 Exia. And if not, then just choose a kit that you really like. Painting is not as intimidating as you think it is. Trust me, trust me, it is not. And I also will be showing you how I get rid of paint when I mess up. I have two separate methods, this bad boy, and alcohol, but we will get into that in another day. I have so much I want to talk about right now, but I have to save it for more videos. Otherwise, I literally, this video would be an hour long. I would create <laughs> one video an hour long of all the basics. I'm going to be more concise with those, but yes, basically, yes, that, that's my Exia. That's it. <laughs> what do you think about the color patterns? What color patterns would you put on it? If you've done this Exia and painted it before, tag me on Instagram, because I really want to see it. Exia, you know, I always like the kit. I really, really like Double O Gundam. Um, I love the storyline and the space magic that happens in there. So it's one of the series that I wouldn't go out of my way to say is my favorite, but I end up liking it anyways, and I really, really like Exia. My shelf is, is starting to get low on product. <laughs> you guys wanna see how this lime green color that I got here, it's Army Painter, and it is Jungle Green and Poisonous Cloud. It's a little bit more Jungle Green than it is Poisonous Cloud, and then I thinned it out. When it comes to what the proportions are for it, I can't really tell you, but that's what it looks like. I gotta mix it still, but that's what it's gonna look like. And that's the result, man. She's gonna be a weird one. I can't wait. I think I'm gonna take this metallic shield here and I think I'm gonna ombre some of this lime green color on it and it'll look so good. Ugh, the lighting in here is so crap, I'm so sorry. Yeah, okay, that's pretty much it. If you're never gonna see my video ever again, get a kit that you like, get that Exia if you don't know where to start. 
I really like MGs. Do not be intimidated by MGs. Make sure you clean your kits very, very well. I will put my video up here. I will also be remaking a better, more concise video in the future sometime during Mobile Suit Miss. Um, but if you don't want to hang around, just make sure you clean it. There's plenty of tutorials online from miniature makers and things like that about how to get mold release off of your kit. After you do that, make sure you get yourself a good primer. It's there's nothing wrong with getting a spray can primer if you're not sure how to mix a surfacer or anything like that. So I suggest Tamiya light gray primer for most kits, most things, before you get into the color theory of what what color you want your primer coat to be. Ugh. I'm sitting here trying to do this one by one in my head and I know that it's very intimidating, especially if you're brand new to painting. But basically, let me just lay it out short. Get a kit you like, make sure it's clean, build the kit, unassemble it and get it ready to be put on alligator clips, prime those bad boys, and then get started painting, whether you're hand painting or airbrushing or using a Tamiya spray paint, and just have fun. That's literally it. It doesn't need to be any more complicated than that. If you don't want to ruin your kit or you feel like you're going to ruin your kit, don't worry. There's always a way for you to strip off the paint if you messed up. It's going to be purple power or, or uh, simple green. I'll make a video on that in the future. Um, but be careful with it. You do not want to mess up your plastic. There are many things that can happen. You can break pieces. Pieces can become brittle after you put thinner on them, things like that. I will go over that in a future video as well. But basically, those are all the big things that you need to worry about that I can think about right now. Because again, <laughs> When left to my own devices and talking about something that I am particularly passionate about, I don't shut up. And that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I so appreciate all the support. I appreciate everything that you guys have been doing, sharing your, your comments, everything. So, you know, thank you so much. This has been Mobile Suit Miss Day, day eight. This has been Mobile Suit Miss Day 8! I can't believe that! That's so insane. We have a whole bunch more days left for more things. I covered a lot of stuff without much explanation. If you have any questions at all, please contact me. Probably you can contact me in the comment section below or you can get a hold of me on Instagram. I am most active there. I will see you guys tomorrow for Mobile Suit Miss Day 9. Alright guys, bye!